when you say that, what do you mean by implication? Are you going to court or what exactly are you saying? Well, whatever means we are going to take, we are going to take. We just watch and uh, we are waiting to see what happens. Uh, your concern, you're talking about um, having issues with INEC and all of that, but your concern, shouldn't your concern be with the leadership of your party? Well, like I said, Adam Oshomale has now taken the lead in this debate. He has replied INEC in its letter and saying that the Pharisee conducted primaries and will present its candidates to INEC before the deadline of 18th October. And if that does not happen, then you know there was a guideline already given us a timeline for submission of names, 7th of October. That wasn't done. I, I can assure you that the deadline for the submission of candidates to INEC is on the 18th of October. Not the 7th of October. October has not reached. Yeah, 18th of October is the deadline for the submission of candidates to INEC. But hold on, and hold on. Hold on, Mr. Sarah. The deadline, there was a guideline as regards when primaries ought to be conducted. INEC says, that according to reports from their office in Zamfara, no primaries were conducted. And primaries are supposed to be conducted within a certain period. So are you now saying that it's okay to go contrary to INEC guidelines or rules for the game? We have never gone contrary to the INEC guidelines. You see, the INEC guidelines is not, is not electoral act. It is just a guideline for INEC to conveniently conduct its uh, primaries. And uh, we have beaten the deadline. Oh. We declared our candidates before the deadline. Okay, this you you don't... Channel, you said you... are witness to this because you, you, you broadcast this live. Your men have been here for eight days monitoring whatever happened in the policy. So I, I don't know what you are talking about. Again, no, no, you. Have the Electoral Act. Listen, listen, Mister. There are where clips of where people who are chewing in the line will have shown clips of people being counted in the line. We have seen clips where the, the, the election results is being declared. Tell me what is primary? What is uh, party primaries? That is direct. Question. Question to you is. Mr. Dosara, hold on, please. If I may come in here. Okay. Can I ask you this question? So, just hold on one second, if I may come in here. Mr. Dosara, so you had your primaries, your National Working Committee cancelled it and conducted an order on. These are, this is what you're saying. Is that what you're saying? Uh, come again. You said there was a primary held in Zamfara. But we all know that at a certain time, the leadership of your party cancelled that and conducted an order on. That's what you're saying, right? On what ground will the party cancel the election? And then why is the party um, uh, officials also coming to argue with the annex? So this primary, well, this primary you say happened took place. So well, let's we're looking at all this. We're looking at all these things together. So let's look at this now. Where did the primaries hold exactly? The ones you say held. Where did they hold? Where? On the 3rd and 4th of October. Where? In Zampara State. In all the 14 local government areas of Zampara State. In, in all the 147 wards in Zampara State. And uh, every agent that's supposed to oversee that primaries were party trained. And so, they all signed the document. So they you're, the document signed. Okay, so now your INEC is then saying, from INEC's letter, they said no report of primaries were held. So you're saying INEC was not there? Or INEC is lying? What I'm saying, what I'm saying, INEC was there. INEC was there in all the 14 local government areas. 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 In all the 14 local
They have signed our documents. The security agencies also are there and they have signed the documents testifying that we have conducted our primaries. Okay. Now, but your national chairman is quoted as saying that your primaries were held in a hotel, not as they're supposed to be held. No, there was never primaries conducted in the hotel. How can primaries, how can primaries of 537 delegates be conducted in a hotel? How can you imagine that to happen? So There was never any primary that was taken, I mean, that has taken place in a hotel, but our primaries were conducted in our 147 wards of the 14 local government areas of Zamfara State. So would it be right then to say that this is your word against the word of INEC that says it has no report of any primaries held and that of your party's leadership that said it was held in a hotel? Well, I don't know. That is the argument between the two of them. That the Zamfara State government, uh, the, 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 the Zamfara State government, who is the party leader in Zamfara State, uh, has nothing to do with that argument between the two of them. All the governor of Zamfara State, who is the party leader, APC leader in Zamfara State, knew was that party primaries were conducted for the APC in Zamfara State. Winners emerged. We declared the results, and we have our document signed. So, if there is any argument between the INEC and the national headquarters, is between the two of them. So but now, now, the now, it's governor has no hand in it. If I could ask you this question very quickly now. It seems to suggest that two primaries actually took place in Zamfara. Is that the case? No. As far as we are concerned, no. It was only one primary that took place in Zamfara State. Because, because if the national chairman says that there was elections held in a hotel, and you say elections were held in every ward in Zamfara State, that seems to suggest to me clearly that two elections actually took place in Zamfara State. And the Channel TV is a witness to that because Channel TV was in Zamfara State for complete HD monitoring all the elections. You know, in, in the letter that your party chairman wrote to INEC, he did say that there was violence when the primaries were holding and that the primary took place, but there was no voting. Is that correct? No, that is, that is not correct as far as the Zamfara State primary uh, is concerned. Like I told you, the argument between INEC and the national chairman is between the two of them. If you want any clarification, go to them, but not the APC Zamfara State, not the governor of Zamfara State, not the people of Zamfara State. As far as people of Zamfara State are concerned, they choose in all of the 147 uh, polling units, they choose their leaders, and uh, leaders have been declared, and uh, all stakeholders, including agents of the contestants, signed, and uh, we have our proof. You know, if there is anybody who has, who has proof 